First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do rule well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the world. Okay? Shalom to you, Akim, that's out there risking your life and your freedom to preach this gospel and this good news, you know, of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, and, I, and, you know, and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? Shalom to you, few sisters that do subscribe. And do learn and shall on to you for your children that subscribe and learn as well. Okay? Today's lesson is going to be entitled, This is the End of Esau's World. This is the End of Esau's Rulership. Okay? Because since this this, this accident that happened with Mr. Floyd, you know, the Israelites, preferably Judah, have been very roused up. Okay? And who do you think is rousing them up? You know, the one that the world eagerly calls God, his name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. They're rousing the people up, okay? Alright? This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 17. And the, and the land of Judah shall be a terror into Egypt. You know, we into, we in the land of Egypt, modern day Egypt. Egypt. Egypt just stands for slavery. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid of him because of the counsel of Yahweh of hosts, which he have determined against it. Okay? Who do you think is is, is putting it putting the spirit in these these you know these Israelites and these perfectly these people, you know, to do all this riding and looting? But you know, this is not really preferably this, this is the work of, 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 you know, this is how two-thirds were reacting a carnal state, you know, because the remnant and the elect, you know, are not going to be out there doing these things because we, we fighting a spirit, you know, it's a spiritual battle and we're going to have to wait. We're going to get reparations and justice and all that. We just have to wait for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's the true justice and true reparations that we seek. But who are rousing these people up right now that you know one share event is is making these people, you know, they're on edge right now. You know, they, they're very much on edge, okay? And it's only gonna get worse, but man, you know, the Wadi Hao Bashim for letting these events happen because it shows that, you know, everything the Bible states is is it's not a lie. Okay? This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou thou time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time where the highest will, where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay? Therefore, when thou shalt be seen of earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Okay? What are you saying right now? Uproars in the people. Riding. Looting. This is all the works of Yahweh by Shem Shah. He's visiting this place. Esau kingdom is, 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 is at his end. You know? And he's going to use his people, preferably Judah, to, to bring you down. You know? I'm I'm not gonna sit here and say what what that devil did was right, but that's also was the judgment of your heart by Shemir Washah when you understand. And if these people that's out there riding and looting would understand the judgment and understand the way the Yahweh Bashem Yahushua operates, they wouldn't be doing these things. But this is just the actions of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. You know, this is how he operates. This is his movie, this is his show. So we're just watching these things playing out, okay? Then thou shall, this is um, verse 4, then thou shall well understand that the Most High speak of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay? For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifested. You know, this is the end of Esau's world. This is the end of Esau's rulership. We're at the end. Okay? 
The highest of the highest, Yahweh, is, is visiting this place. And he's bringing this place down, man. Okay? I wouldn't be surprised if they if they issue full-blown martial law very soon. Because it's going to be different cities, different places. Places you never heard about riding and looting. Okay? But we, we, we have the elect, you know, the hopeful elect, Salakim, that hope on salvation. We can't be the ones that's out there doing this, man. We, 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 we're not going to think carnal. We're going to think in a, in a spiritual aspect. We're going to let Yahweh Bashem Shah fight our battles, okay? This is Genesis chapter 49 and verse 9. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son, that art gone up. He stood up. He stood down. He crouched as a lion, as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? Okay? Who? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is rousing the people up. Okay? And a lion is a strong animal, but you, but you forgot who the prey really is. You're, you're forgetting who the enemy really is, man. And the enemy is, is, is Esau. So don't be, don't be m m mistaken. Okay? You heard what Trump was talking about with the martial law. And, um, you know, and ironically, he was talking about getting rid of social media platforms, too, that, that have the truth. And what's the mainstream of, of, of a media that you can get the truth from? YouTube. So that's that, that set in my mind. You know, it's a lot of things that's, that's, that's going on. And it's, it's not like we're still not in the pandemic phase as well. You know, so the Wadi Ahau Bashem Yahweh man. And we bob a ball to this place. This place has to be destroyed. We, we need a rulership that's going to be ran in righteousness. You know, these curses, I just pray, how about you, Shah, you lift these curses from your people. You know? I can't wait to see our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, reign. Okay? But you but you also got to know that the times we're living in, these, these, these things was, this hatred that Esau has for Jake, Goes further than 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 what you can just think about, and what you can imagine, you know. This 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 hatred, it starts all the way from the beginning of time, you know. And this is how we know that we're coming out of this 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 thing, because everything. Everything has a has has a set time, okay? This is the end of Esau's world. This is the end of Esau's uh, of Esau's rulership, man. Okay? And he's going to come down like a madman very soon, you know. The spirit is going to be put on him, but you got to also know this. That Esau, man, he hates you Israelites, man. Especially, man, he he, he hates us. Okay? This is Genesis. Just this to show you and let you know that Esau hates us. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. The blessing is coming to us. You know, the blessing is, is, is what we about to earn. Wherefore, his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, which is in mind, the days of mourning of my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. And that's all you see is Esau slaying, slaying Jacob. So that hatred that he has goes back centuries ago. And that hatred is going to be shown on a greater stand. Well, we got to wait on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Because us that's in this truth and that's grounded, we know that this is the end of Esau's world. This is the end of Esau's rulership. Okay? So we living in some, some amazing, scary, deadly times. But you got to know this is the time... You got to measure these times diligently in itself. And you got to know when you see these signs that come to pass. That the highest of the highest will begin to visit the world which he hath made. So all this is already predestined to happen from the beginning. Yahweh had his blueprint. He gave it to his son. And now it's being manifested. Therefore when thou shalt see the earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Thou wilt understand the most high speak of these things. Okay. So you got to know, because of these things that's happened, 
For light as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifested. So we're at the end of this devil's rulership. We're at the end of this devil's world, you know? So the body of Hawa Bashim and Hawa Shah, for all that you, you give us, and all that, you, the, all that you, you, you're showing the people. But this is not an action that the elect and the remnant of, of, of the people are going to be doing. They're not going to be out here doing these things, looting and, and all this. Okay? We're going to wait on your how about you, with y'all. That's the true justice. Alright? So I hope this video was edifying. You know, we just got to know that the times we're in, this is the end. We're, we're living in, in, in the end of things. You know? So, man, this <laughs> beautiful times we're in. Giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukakadash. Give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do rule well. Peace, hope, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect that's scattered across the four corners of the world. Okay? Again, this is the end of Esau's world. This is the end of Esau's rulership. Okay? He's losing his power. You know, it's about to be a righteous rulership that's about to take place on planet Earth. Okay, and it's about to be a whole different type of events that's about to happen that's never ever happened since the world has been in rotation, since the world has been designed and created, okay? But the true justice that we seek and the true righteousness that we seek, we're going to get it when the Lord Yahweh Shah comes back, okay? That's when, we, that's when we're going to receive, you know, true justice. That's when we're going to really be able to get our hands on these devils. But the actions like this is not going to cause anything. But, you know, Esau is the, the master of um, mind control. You know, so he knows how to tick the people off. He knows how to get a reaction. You know, just like it stated in the King Alfred plan. Okay? Order out of chaos. You know? So, the body, how about Shemmy, how was for the knowledge that you've given to us as your people? You know, take we, we, we can't take it for granted. Okay, so call upon the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah. That's gonna be the keys to, to, to salvation, man. Okay, in these in these times. But no, something beautiful is about to take place. We're about to witness the the, the fall of our enemy. Okay, because so-called white man is not your it's not your friend. He's not your buddy. He's your enemy. He's he's, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, Shalom.